Hey guys, it's Dow Phoenix, and I decided to do a little rant about the Xbox 720. And we've been hearing some rumors lately about this system coming out. Um, you know, supposed to be coming out by the holidays of next year, which, you know, is still quite a long time from now. But the uh, main thing that people have been talking about is uh, supposedly the used games that we've grown accustomed to since the dawn of console gaming. Since the uh, Fairchild F or whatever, which in case you didn't know, was actually the uh, first cartridge-based system. It wasn't the Atari 2600. Uh, it beat it by about a year or so. But uh, anyways, uh, we've all grown accustomed to being able to, you know, borrow games from people, uh, rent them from stores, uh, buy them from, like, pawn shops, and... Eventually, you know, we got used game stores and, and whatnot. But, um, yeah, those times are going to come to an end if Microsoft gets what it wants with the uh, new Xbox 720. They have plans to discontinue used gaming. Yeah, how do you like that? Um, how, how does that sound to you? Does that sound like uh, a good time, you know? Uh, you know, I mean, okay, you know, we know that this is kind of going to happen eventually at one point. The industry is eventually going to have the technology and means to control this. But is that going to change the way we game? Like, are, is this going to stop anybody from buying video games? No, probably not. Um, there are going to be some people that naturally aren't going to have anything to do with gaming anymore. Or they're going to stick with the classics, as they'll now be called, you know, the games that we have nowadays are eventually going to be classics. That's undeniable. You know, maybe not all good, of course, you know, not all classics are good. Um, you know, my favorite uh, game system is probably the Nintendo Entertainment System, but we know there's a lot of shitty games on that system. That's pretty much true with every game system. So... You know, I mean, eventually, you know, games that we've pl we're playing now on the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, um, the Nintendo Wii, you know, those are going to be classics. You know, I guess you can arguably uh, say some of these already are. I don't know. You know, I'm not really going to define that, but we can all count uh, this not happening on the Xbox 720. Th th maybe this could mean that, uh, you know, if Microsoft you know, really gets the support and everything that they want from third-party publishers. Maybe they'll convince third-party publishers not to publish games for the Wii U. They'll just say, well, do you want your game to be sold to each customer brand new and you get the money for it? Or would you rather have, uh, you know, every customer that buys your, their game new, you're going to have about four or five people that are going to buy the game used, pirate it online, rent the game or something, and... You know, there's some greedy, uh, greedy companies out there that are eventually gonna be like, yeah, you're right, Microsoft. Uh, you know, even if we only sell half the units that uh, that we might, you know, that other, other people that might normally play that game, uh, that's still like twice as many games we're selling. So why not? Let's do it. And um, Microsoft will be like, well, yeah, you don't need to make games for Wii U anymore then, because you don't want your game to be uh, sold, used, or pirated, right? You know, and then. That's the end of the story, you know. Do we want this to happen? Do you really want this to happen? Okay, now, just to be fair here, um, you know, one thing that people need to realize is that when it comes to PC gaming, used games are pretty much cut off. You know, that's pretty much an established fact. Um, you can, in some cases, use game on PC games, particularly for older titles. Um, most people that play PC games don't even buy retail copies anymore. I remember seeing some statistics that said that Steam has like 70% of the total PC sale market. Um, who knows if that's still true or, or what you know validity that has, but uh, I, I guess they're pretty much saying that retail has you know gone down the drain with PC. That makes sense. You know, I mean, services like Steam really make it uh, simple for average gamers to to play, you know, and, and who, who really needs that, you know, so, but we, the reason that we, you know, don't mind services like Steam 
is, uh, well, there's a couple reasons. For one, we don't have to worry about not being able to play our PC game on another machine. You know, yes, we are going to play it on our main computer or laptop or whatever, but if we go over to our friend's house and, you know, maybe want to show them the game, we can download it to their computer and play it on theirs, as long as we're on our Steam account. And, and that's cool. You know, that is totally fine. Um... And another thing, of course, is that the price of games tends to be a lot cheaper. So, um, you know, I think uh, I, I've got about like 100 games on my Steam account. It's ridiculous, you know. Um, you know, of course, a lot of these games are like really cheap games, you know. like They came from bundles and whatnot. But, um, you know, that's about five times as many games as I have on my 360. I'm not counting any of like my downloaded titles on my 360, but... Uh, even still, I still have more games on Steam if we were to count that. But um, the the amount of cost uh, for those games quite a lot less. You know, usually I pay about five or ten bucks for a game on Steam. So you know, if we can expect this to happen on the Xbox 720, then you know I can see that uh, you know maybe there are some good sides to excluding used games. You know, if we can expect that we're going to have a lower cost of purchase for those games. The problem is we're probably not going to get that. Um, you can, if you don't believe me, just take a look at uh, how they price games now. Now, of course, you know, when the games first come out, they're about $60, uh, more or less. And that's if it's a standard edition. You know, a lot of these game companies uh, decided, hey, uh, you know, what, if we get 60 bucks instead of 50 bucks out of these gamers... Why not get a hundred bucks or hundred and fifty bucks? You know, we'll give them some stupid statue or gun toy or, you know, something stupid like that. You know, in a, in a nice premium casing, and we'll call it a collector's edition, and people will buy it. And and sadly enough, that's true. You know, I mean, you look at some of these collector's editions, and it's just pathetic. Um, you know, I saw the uh, the Skyrim, you know, the collector's edition with the statue and everything like that. Yeah, there's no way I would even pay. I would, I would maybe pay an extra twenty bucks total for that collector's edition, uh, because that's really all you're getting as far as additional value of that. You know, and plus a collector's edition isn't really collectors a collector's item if uh, if they make like several hundred thousand uh, of these units. You know, I mean it's not really a collector's item anymore if like. Uh, if you could just find random people be like, oh, yeah, I got this collector's edition, blah, 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 game, you know. Yeah, it's not a collector's item anymore. So you just, it, 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 and usually I can find these collector's games for a lot cheaper, you know, sometimes for the same price as what the game was originally new. Uh, actually, I remember buying Halo 3 collector's edition with the helmet and everything like that. Um, for about $65, and it was only about, like, five months after the game came out. You know, and it had the game and everything like that. So, why the hell would people do that? But anyways, though, you know, that, that, that I kind of got out of hand there. The point I'm trying to make is that, um, this is not going to work out, Microsoft. Um, you know, I guarantee you, if you decide that... I can't go into GameStop, or I can't borrow games from my friends or my brother, or I can't uh, rent a game from Redbox, or as Koi Kitsune said, Blockbuster. Ha ha! Yeah, Blockbuster's still around. <laughs> uh, seriously, though. Um, yeah, it's just not going to happen. I'm not going to buy this game system. Uh, especially given that the specs on this system are pretty pathetic. Um... You know, it's only about 20 to 30 percent more powerful than the Wii U, based on the graphics processors that the systems are going to use. Um, you know, and a lot of people are, you know, a lot of Nintendo has been kind of downplaying the Wii U. You know, if you look at the graphics technology, it's based on Radeon 4000 series, which is about uh, three or four years ahead of the, you know, about about four years or so ahead of the graphics processor series that the 360 is based on. So uh, we're going to see a pretty good leap in games. Maybe not, you know, with some of the initial games because they'll just be ports of 360 and PS3 games we got. But the difference is we're probably going to have true 1080 ports. You know, we're not going to see games that are 1080 upscaled. You know, from like maybe 720p if we're lucky. 
Uh, you know, we'll have true 1080 ports. You know, we'll probably have actual 4X plus anti-aliasing in the system and, and all that, you know. And these would be things that were really easy for the game developers to, I mean, consider and, you know, be easy for them to implement. Uh, just because, you know, all they have to do is just turn on these things. You know, basically, you know, if they're making a PC version of the game, we can expect the Wii U version to be running the PC game at max or near max settings anyways, whereas the PS3 and 360 versions are more or less running on medium settings with a lower resolution. Um, you know, but uh, and the, and the, the, the 720 ain't going to be much more powerful than the Wii U based on the graphics, because that's based on, like, the AMD Radeon HD 6000 series, but it's, like, based on, like, a lower-end card of the 6000 series and the Wii U is on the 4000 series. But it's, the 720 is still more powerful. But the point I'm making is, it's just not going to happen. I know I'm going to boycott the system if this does go through. Um, unless, somehow, it does manage to have you know, great deals and pricing like Steam. But knowing how Microsoft has been more or less pillaging us with the Xbox 360 with ridiculous things like having to pay $60 a year for a service we get free on PlayStation 3. Um, you know, there is no difference between Xbox Live and, and PSN as far as the, the type of service we get. Okay, well, there's a couple things. One, we get uh, cross-game chat... And two, um, yeah, that's, that's that's it. We get cross game chat. Uh, that's the only thing that we can do with Xbox Live for sixty dollars a year that we can't do with PSN for free. And then, of course, you know, for PlayStation Plus, you know, for ten dollars a, a year less, um, they give us free games every month and everything like that. So I'm strongly considering subscribing to PlayStation Plus. And just um, whenever the Xbox Live subscription ends, just not renewing it. And uh, I guess I just won't be playing games online once it happens. That won't happen for quite a few months, though. We'll see. But, um, yeah, Microsoft, uh, it, it's your move now. You know, if you decide that you want to go ahead and go through with this, that's up to you. Um, but you've lost this customer if you do that. And I'm sure going to lose a lot more. And, of course, you know, with the whole use game thing, a lot of people are wondering how they're going to do this. They're probably going to do some kind of CD key system. So it's just going to make it more of a pain in the ass to buy games for the system. Because we'll have to enter in 20-digit codes, uh, verifying that we were legitimate purchasers of the game. And then, you know, the game will have to be installed to the hard drive. So we'll have to wait several minutes before we can even play the game. Um, and then, you know, heaven forbid your game system breaks. Uh, I'm sure they'll have the leniency to give us, like, three installs or something like that, you know. That's pretty much the standard with CD keys on the PC. So we'll have three chances, basically. Um, which, uh, as long as the uh, 720 is an unreliable piece of crap like the 360 was when it first came out, probably won't be a problem, you know. Uh, but, you know, even if you have unused installs, I'm sure uh, places like GameStop will refuse to buy the game from you because they'll have no way of really verifying if uh, if you still have any installs left to use. Um, of course, they can also go with completely, you know, downloaded-based content, which means you'll have to wait several hours for, for your download to finish. Um... And, and, you know, that's just going to piss people off, of course, you know, and take a lot of hard drive space. You know, we're going to have to have, like, terabyte hard drives on the game console just to really make downloading even viable of a solution, you know. And, uh, you know, there's also the matter of fact that is if they actually end up doing this, um, anybody that doesn't have a, a good, reliable internet connection, you know, high-speed internet, is screwed. They're not going to be able to play it at all because... Uh, the only way that they will be able to exclude used games is by using some kind of online verification system. Um, so, yeah, that's it's just not going to work out, Microsoft. You might as well just uh, cut the cord on this plan now. It's total crap. Um, so with that, guys, down Phoenix out.